G Herbo pleads guilty to a fraud case and he is facing five years in prison. Now, originally, G Herbo was facing 20 years in prison if he lost that case, but G Herbo smartened up. On top of him facing that mandatory five, he has agreed to pay back $387,000 in what she scammed plus fees. Now they're saying that G Herbo officially has changed his plea. He did plead guilty to one count of the indictment, the United States versus Antonio M. Strong and Herbert Wright III, also known as G Herbo. Now he did plead guilty to one count of the conspiracy to commit wire fraud in the violation of the USC 18. He also waived the indictment and pled guilty to one count of the information of the United States of uh, providing false statements. Now the defendant admits that the defendant committed the crime specific in this count one and is in fact guilty of it. The defendant admits that the defendant committed the crime specified in this count and is in fact guilty of it. Saying as far as the penalties for count one, G Herbo can be incarcerated to up to five years, a supervised release from three years, and a fine of 250,000, and also restitution. Now the sentence recommendation is recommending incarceration, 36 months of supervised release, and a fine that he will have to pay, and a mandatory special assessment of $200. They're saying that the restitution Institution would be 139,000. Now here is the breakdown of that 139,000. It shows the actual places that G Herbo used or the actual companies he used to get these services or products. We will break it down in this video. Now this is exactly what they're saying. Now they're saying that G Herbo and another guy by the name of Antonio Strong worked together to pay for things with fraudulent credit cards and fraudulent payment information. Then now they will get things like a private jet, luxury rental cars, and hotels. Days after getting those services, they would get a chargeback, leaving those companies out of luck. Now G Herbo and this guy Strong left a paper trail in proof now they found the proof via text messages and instagram dms and wiretaps now here's their official paperwork now they're saying between march 9th and november 24th 2018 the defendant herbert wright also known as g herbo Lil herb he partnered and conspired with antonio m strong to defraud businesses and individuals by possessing using and transferring unauthorized and stolen payment card information to obtain valuable goods and services now the account information includes the car holders names addresses payment card account numbers security codes and account expiration dates now strong and his co-conspirators refer to the illicit account information as moves now they're saying with the fraud g herbo and strong use various phone numbers email addresses and fictitious names and companies with the aliases of bh walter o'malley and darren granger now bh is a real person in the resident of chicago area who never authorized or even knew about these transactions in his name, Walter O'Malley and Darren Granger were fictitious identities. Now, generally, because Strong and his co-conspirators provided authentic payment card information and defrauded businesses and individuals specifically, they possessed their transactions and provided the goods and services. Now, so in return, the actual card holders discovered these transactions and disputed the charges. The card holders' payment and companies then reversed their payments and charged back the transactions transactions to the businesses and individuals, which in return suffered losses in the amounts of the unauthorized transactions. Now the goods and services that Strong fraudulently obtained for Wright included four private jets, exotic car rentals, a luxury villa in Jamaica. Wright also used the proceeds from those funds to travel to various concert venues and advance his career by posting photographs and videos of himself on private jets and those exotic cars and in the Jamaican villa. Now, in addition, Wright helped Strong obtain designer puppies from a business by falsely representing the business that Wright was the actual purchase of these puppies and by concealing Strong's identity from the business. Now, during the communication between Wright and Strong, Wright, among other things, he acknowledged that Wright did not cause anything to rent a vehicle for Wright, and Strong sent Wright a screenshot of his account balance on the dark web that sold credit card information as proof that Strong did not have any funds to purchase more illicit account information information for Wright. Now, however, the government's investigation did not discover any evidence that Wright transferred or sold any illicit account information to any other person or that Wright purchased any information off of the dark web. So pretty much 
it looks like G Herbo has a running for him and he was doing all the dirty work while G Herbo was sitting back taking benefits. Now lastly, on November 24th, 2018, when a special agent of the United States Secret Service interviewed Wright concerning the frauds and his relationship with Strong, Wright falsely stated he never provided Strong any money, he never received any value from Strong, and he had no direct relationship with Strong. However, these false statements did not materially obstruct the investigation or prosecution of the charged offenses. So at first, G Hobo told him that he did not know who Strong was, that that Strong didn't provide any valuable information or any valuable products to him. But like I said, it shows here G Herbo acts several times and even paid a few times for the services. Here's the whole Jamaica ordeal. Now keep in mind, G Herbo filmed a music video at this Jamaican location for the song called Man Now, which is currently at 20. Now it says on June 20th, 2017 until July 10th, 2017, Wright continued to exchange DMs with Strong to request accommodations, vehicles, credit card in Jamaica. For example, June 26, 2017, G Herbo Wright said this. He says, hey, Antonio on video, hit me today, bro. For real, you capping it off, big bro. I'm going to another country, bro, not LA. This can't be last minute. I'm going to be in Jamaica. I can't just book no hotel room if you tweet. On video, I sent you my money the first day, bro. Stop acting like I ain't supposed to be mad. You playing and I'm not talking to you, bro. G Herbo also said, bro, I'm leaving on the 7th. I need my shit booked today, dude. Not tomorrow, next week, none of that. Tonio, bro, on veto, I F with you time and time again. After you tweak with everybody else, I still mess with you. Why you tweaking, dude? I'm disappointed in you, big bro. Make me feel good, cause you tripping. Now Strong replied and said, shut up, let me do it now. Had to wait a little days closer, bro. Right on veto, I know you official like a whistle. You just not hitting me and month could go on missing. Come on, bro. Reserve that big ass crib and some whips for me big bro on veto i'll pay you again i'm gonna do the verse bitch just lace me a whole little week he said june 30th send me my crib b now on july 6 2017 book mine asap right now on the morning or first thing or something bro on veto i ain't calling you blowing you up for my stuff bro strong ghost has said um i've been sleep you tripping gang i got you today homie now, G Herbo also said, how am I tripping, bro? I leave at 5 a.m. You can sleep again. Anything can happen. Just book it for me before it get too late. Get them whips, too. Now, July 9th through the 10th, G Herbo was in Jamaica. Now, Strong hit him up and said, how's everything? You good out there? G Herbo replied and said, yeah, big bro. I'm trying to find my phone, my joint tweaking. Hey, are you going to put a card on file for me for the incidentals? Strong said, call me. Now, G Herbo replied and he said, you ain't calling me. You're supposed to get the whips on deck and everything. I need you to call front desk, email them the new card information. Dude, they got my card on this still. They trying to charge me all type of stuff, gang. Now, amongst other things, G Herbo and his friend allegedly scammed an exotic animal company in Detroit called Wolf Wolf Puppies. Now, Wolf Wolf Puppies fraud. Now, according to the records and information provided by Wolf Wolf Puppies in Boutique, it happened on November 29th, 2017. Now, they were saying that a guy by the name of Darren Granger, an email address to order puppies and accessories with the credit card that cost 10,000. Strong said he wanted to purchase puppies for his client, G Herbo Wright, for Wolf Wolf to Wright's Instagram account, which listed several million followers and he was already following Wolf Wolf's account. Uh, Wolf Wolf sent Granger pictures of the puppies and spoke with him on the phone approximately nine times that day. Granger also said that he already had a limo driver to come pick up the puppies. He sent her a photo of his driver's license but refused to take a photo of himself with the driver's license to prove his identity. The Wolf Wolf owner then asked to speak with Wright to confirm that he was actually receiving the puppies, received a call from a person who presented himself as G Herbo, even though it wasn't him. Now, the Wolf Wolf owner wanted proof that Wright would be receiving the puppies, so she asked Wright to message her through Instagram. Now, the Wolf Wolf owner sent several messages, DMs to Wright, and Wright confirmed that he was getting the puppies. After obtaining this confirmation from Wright, the Wolf Wolf owner then provided the puppies to the limo driver. Now, according to the record seized from Strong's iPhone, prior to the sale on November 29th, Strong engaged in a lengthy text exchange with the Wolf Wolf owner. Strong introduced himself as Darren, Darren with Empire, and the Wolf Wolf owner sent Strong photographs of the puppies and agreed to sell the puppies for $9,500. 
The wolf owner did send a $9,500 credit card receipt, but stated that someone will have to sign the receipt and present identification. Strong then sent a photograph of the fictitious Washington State driver's license, but Wolf asked Stranger to take a photograph with the license next to his face to confirm his identity, and Strong refused. Now, also on the 29th of November 2017, Strong iPhone contained the following text message exchange between G Herbo. Now, Strong says he sent the picture of the puppies. G Herbo replies saying, "Where they at?" Then also Strong sent a receipt of the cells for the strong puppies. Now for the Wolf Wolf puppies. Now G Herbal replied, he says, I'm in class right now, folk laughing out loud. Now Strong said, check DM, Harry just send the lady a message saying hello. Now according to Wright's Instagram account on November 29th, 2017, Wright engaged in the following DM exchange with Wolf Wolf's Instagram account. He says, hi, hello, message me here. Hello, are you getting two puppies, correct? G Herbal replied, yes. Okay, thank you. G Herbo said, no problem, thank you. Um, a driver named from the American Airport Car Service picked up the puppies from Wolf Wolf and drove them to Chicago, where she dropped off the puppies with a man in his car. The driver sent Wolf Wolf photos of the man strong in his car. Now, according to the American Car Customer Trip Sheet, it says the billing client was Darren Granger of Epic Travel. Um, it also has his phone number. A payment of $742 was charged to that credit card. According to the Bank of America account number, belonging to an individual by the name of DB of Mercer, Wisconsin, he disputed several fraudulent charges between November 29th and December 3rd, including that $9,500 and $958 and $752 at the American Car Service. Now, on December 6, 2017, Strong sent a text message relating to the wolf fraud. I already finessed these dogs for you and you don't give a F. I know you have sold at least one what you did with the bread and my problem, but hey, my brother, send that money. I know you got it, but I don't care what kind of crib you get, but make it your business to call me in the hospital when your ass ain't get your bread. Now, on January 23rd, 2018, the Wolf Wolf owner attempted to follow up with G Herbo concerning the chargeback, and they sent him an Instagram DM of the photograph showing Strong and the American driver providing proof you got two puppies. Later that day, Wolf Wolf sent Wright additional messages, including the following. We had two Yorkies sent to Herbert Wright this past November of 2017. We recently received the chargeback stating that it was fraudulent transaction, which obviously it wasn't. Please resolve this matter as soon as you can. Thanks. Below are the pictures of Mr. Wright with the puppies. Now, on January 29th, 2018, Wolf Wolf and Wright engaged on the following Instagram exchange. Now, Wolf Wolf said, before I go to the police department, do you want to resolve this? We have you on photo, witnesses, license plate. This is a felony. Before this goes any further, did you want to resolve it? G Herbo replied back. He says, do you see the pictures on my page? Does that look like me in the picture? I never met you. Now, Wolf Wolf replied and said, you messaged me while I was on the phone with you from your official page. Phone calls recorded and here's your message confirming that you got those two puppies. Now, G Herbo actually scammed a few more companies, a few jet companies, a few car rental places. But this is the one where G Herbo pretty much went back and forth with the owner about not getting the product. Now they're saying that G Herbo's false statements to the federal agents is another charge. Now on November 24th, 2018, Special Agent Tyler Martin of the United States Secret Service conducted a video recorded interview with Wright. During the interview, Wright falsely stated that he never provided Strong any money. He never received anything of value from Strong and he had no relationship with Strong. Now here's the following. 224,000 for a jet, 20,000 for another jet, 15,000 for a big jet, 19,000 for the jet partners, 15,000 for war travel holdings for that villa in Jamaica, 34,000 for the dream squad, I believe that's a actual rental car, uh, 10,000 for the Wolf Wolf puppies and $752 for the airport car and limo service. Now, this is the last thing. Now, G Herbal actually, here's the actual signature of G Herbal admitting and taking that plea agreement. Herbert Wright III, 6-5, 2023. And after that, after the news broke yesterday, G Herbert went to his Instagram page today and he says, I just made a million last week. And here is G Herbo's one of his recent mug shots. It looks like he's smiling and it looks like everything's okay. Now he has to face this charge for the fraud. Then he has to go back to Chicago for another gun case, a weapons case. So you guys do the math. Let me know how you feel about this in the comments below. Me personally, I always say, 
at your wage. If you can't afford it, or if you don't want to pay for it, I'm not saying G Herbo didn't have the money, but it just like, it looks like he didn't want to pay for it at the end of the day. He has to pay for lawyer fees now, he has to pay the restitution back, and he has to pay that $250,000 fine. 